Hey there YouTube, you know who I am, you know what I do. This is Jack and Dexter part 2. So where we left off, we reconnected the power beam to the city and we've gotten most of the power cells, 13. Uh, we're going to go to the mayor now and exchange, tell him that we've uh, established power and probably switch our power cells as well. Oh, what a wonderful sight! I thank you! Entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. Swish. So, uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Fifteen. Okay, just five more. So, we uh, opened up the vents as well when we were in the jungle biome. So now we're gonna go proceed to where this pelican was over here. That's the sage's how a uh, hut. If we can see it from here. I guess not. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff in the way we probably just can't see it. But there's a star that looks very different. It's green. open up the precursor door and it was a door into the future. We needed uh, 120 power cells. That's how many there are in the game. Oh, it's 220. Whatever it is, we need a lot of power cells. Oh my! I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom! You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. to 
do something bad to this penguin. Um, Halligan. We're gonna go ahead and punch it. Now, there seems to be an unusual amount of cruelty to animals and plants. What? Oh, we have to be charged up. Well, there's only the closest way to be charged up is there. Those little balls will actually follow me, it's quite awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to land on this pelican thing. I was actually sweating there to get that bloody power cell back. It is um, kind of a challenge. It took me a couple of times back in the day uh, to actually get the bloody thing, but I got it first go, so I'm pretty stoked how that worked out. We just need three more power cells, and then we have enough to um, get out of this area. We just need 20 of them. And this game is uh, all over the place. We get to go to mines, we get to go to uh, underwater really fun and this time an underwater temple is actually really fun. I know that most games an underwater temple sounds like, you know, uh, low hanging fruit, uh, a bit boring, but I can assure you it's not. sure that's all we can really get in this area. Uh, we have to go to the um, Misty Island at this point. I could take the Precursor Orbs and at least get one more power cell from those um, oracles, but that would only get us one and then we'd still be behind. So I'm just going to go ahead and head off to Misty Island. Obviously Jack, uh, not Jack, Dexter does not want to go back to Misty Island because that's where he got turned into it. It is kind of Jack's fault. I wouldn't be surprised if Jack should be... Jack should be overwhelmed with guilt about what happened to his friend because he was simply just digging around. This whole game at to this uh, for a while was just to simply find out what happened to the other sages, but um, Dexter just wants to be turned back and that's basically the main reason behind it. So now they have a real excuse to find out what the fuck is going on to these other um, to these other sages and tracking down everyone else because the other sages they shut down their warp pads or their teleporting pads so now everyone's sort of isolated what little they had to get around is now been permanently uh, temporarily shut down and no one knows why <coughs> Oh man. So another game I've got in the works is Kaya. Kaya is a really fun game as well. I'd say it's even more fun than this one. I went nuts for it. I completed it. I've also got Primal, which is a bit dark, but I still like it. Okay, 
that, that's all of the ones in the village. Sweet. You know, I could wrestle these cows up, um, and then we wouldn't have to go to uh, Misty Island just yet. That could, I could save that for another day, which I might do now, because I can go here, exchange 120 um, precursor orbs for a power cell, and then exchange the power cell, um, then for your gift, collect those uh, yak things, is yours. put them back in the pit, and then we have 20, and then we can travel along the uh, fire canyon, and that is fucking, I mean, that is really, really fun. Now I'm going to help out this old farmer. This isn't so much as it is difficult, but it's just, you know, long and boring. No one really wants to do this mission. Um, get in there. When it's moving like this, you can sort of direct it. And that's what we're going to do. That's one. One more, just one more, and then we get a power cell and we can ride that kick ass bike. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. And look, Fire Canyon is literally right behind us. We oh, just have to walk well behind done, us my to boy. Shelter. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power shell for your trouble. Good. You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells, and hurry! My father says he's seen more lurkers around. So Jack won't actually speak throughout the entirety of the game, but he does speak in the other games. Just in this game, he's a mute in many ways. He just doesn't give the chance, he doesn't just get the chance in order to speak. Literally not a word. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! So that area of the game is also really fun. Let's roll. How is this guy walking on lava? See if we can catch air off those workers. We can actually hit them. Oh crap. Oh, I've forgotten that sound. I 
explode. Kind of a good thing that I exploded, to be honest. What? What? Why is it on? Oh, I think that I thought it was blitzed. Uh, had, had me sweating. Oh, yeah. Close at that time, but I was also heating up pretty bad. Try that again, shall we? basically have to hit almost every single balloon otherwise you are going to heat up and then you're going to explode Sages um, place called Rock Village. Now, the first thing we have to do is well, it's not the first thing we have to do, but go to his hut, and the hut is conveniently located right near the fire. It's not really that far away when you come to think of it. Whoa! 
I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some ore. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, and come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. So, in order to get up to that boss area... Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of um, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. And the butt cut's there because um, well, we're, we're supposed to really go to. Um, actually, we can talk to him. Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. A particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer to the nearest transpad. Ride the Zoomer to a green eco-vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here! And don't forget the corners! Wow, what a dick. So, uh, this big lurker boss on the top of that hill, uh, he's equipped with a shit ton of machinery as well. He's throwing flaming, flaming boulders down upon the, uh, city. We have to uh, activate this machine that will lift one of the boulders out of the way so that we can actually get up there and fight him and proceed to the next part of the game. Until we find out why the Blue Sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get him! sure if we need 25 total or we have to collect another 25. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Interesting strata. So you can't touch the rocks because they're smoldering and uh, they'll sort of set you on fire. That is the sunken underwater city just up ahead. Oh, no, not another hero. 
I lost my shorts on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way, you pretty much tabbed me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Deadman's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. So he'll give you a power cell if you give him 90 orbs, and he'll give you a power cell if you win the race. Or at least break the time for the race. Walk it off, tough guy! Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on! But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue ego, and a mechanical genius devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. <sighs> Of course he wants 90 um, power cells in order to release the front two. I see it's over there. So I'm gonna go ahead to the next place really that's really interesting and really fun. Oh crap! <laughs> I did got eaten. larger than it appears to be. Uh, it goes down really deep. There's wind chimes. So 
those coils are really hot so don't touch them. Lurkers have somehow found their way into the uh, complex. I am dead. At least it basically saves every time you pick up a precursor orb, so that's pretty good. And unfortunately, we need precursor orb more than anything in this level in order to exchange for the power cells. So there aren't that many as power cells, they're not as abundant in the first level, but we need them more, we need the precursor orb in order to get to the power cell. Did it in time, sweet. to my channel if you haven't already and um, you know leave it in any comments on what you think I've missed or what games you'd like to see next because I really want to hear from you guys. Alright YouTube, catch you later.